Hi friends, it's Becky and I want to open up and organize the April 2024 Treasure Edition Best Bead Box from Potomac Beads. They have two bead subscriptions that are available at Potomac Beads. One is for a box full of beads that you can design your own things with and have your own inspiration with. And the other is a kit subscription, which gives you three brand new projects with all of the beads, a pattern, and everything that you need to complete that project. I subscribe to the kit edition as well as the treasure edition. So I'm going to be opening this up and I'm also going to be making some videos using these beads. And the reason I'm going to be doing that is because you guys don't need to watch me on video doing the patterns for the kit things because there's already videos for those projects that come with the kits. It's on the Potomac Beads um, YouTube channel. So you can see those if you wanted to make any of those projects. Um, but this is really fun because with the, the Potomac Beads um, subscriptions, it used to be that you'd get some kits and then you get some um, for your stash beads. And there weren't, sometimes it, it was just a little bit of beads. It wasn't enough to really do a whole project with, but now we get enough to do like multiple projects with in this treasure edition. And it gives you the freedom to, again, explore your creativity and create your own creations. You also usually, in addition to some great beads, you also usually get some sort of stringing material and a tool. So it's not just beads in this box. And the box that it comes in is one of my favorite boxes. I actually use it for a lot of other things. Like I've got some pencils in one of these. I've got some art markers. Um, I keep some... Uh, my thread in one of these boxes. I keep some findings in these boxes because they're really useful. I've actually like covered it in washing tape and use it, used it as a gift box before um, <laughs> because they've got this magnetic closure and they're just, they're great boxes. I usually toss out the boxes that my um, subscriptions come in, but I do not toss this box out. But I do sort it into an organizer because I have a lot of trouble um, designing from this box when it's in this format. But if I've sorted into, into the organizer and can see everything all at once, then it's a lot easier for me to design from. And that's why I pull the beads out, we look at them, we hold them in our hands, and then we put them in here. All right, so this is the treasure box and let's take a look at what they say about it. This whimsical collection captures the allure of cotton candy with soft pastel hues, reminiscent of sugary confection, enhanced by luscious peridot green base that mirrors the season's renewal. Because it is springtime, these beads radiate a captivating charm. All right, their crystalline iridescent surfaces reflect the midday light, casting a mesmerizing shimmer that echoes the ethereal lightness of spun sugar. When combined, they form a, a visual synergy reminiscent of a delightful carnival evoking nostalgic memories of carefree days and simple indulgence in sugary delights. <laughs> so now we've got this all out here and I love, I love pastels. I love all of that. I'm going to pull out the beads and then we will go through our little list on the back and get them sorted and we'll take a look at these. Oh, I love that. Let me get these butterfly charms. These leaf beads are ginormous. They are so big. And then we've got those. And I love peridot as a, a color. Um, I used to rail against it because peridot is my birthstone. And I don't think most people like their birthstones because that's the one that you're like shoehorned into. But I learned to love it. And oh, look, you've got some rainbow check beads. That's awesome. Ah, these are beautiful. These drizzly rainbow guys. And then we've got more fire polish beads. And these are Bibo beads. They have a really cool shape. I have not used these two hole beads before. Um, oh, we do have some round duos. Oh, you know what? I bet these Bibo beads and the round duos would fit snugly right next to each other because they've got this curve where the two holes are on the Bibo beads. 
like that, and then you've got the curve on the outside for the round duo beads. That's going to be fun. I'm gonna to have to come up with something that includes both of those. Look at this. It is a Duracoat Tea Rose. This is a apricot-y, like a pastel apricot kind of a color. And it says Tea Rose, but it is a very, very peachy color. I like that color, and those are Eidos. And we've got some four millimeter bicones and pink mix it says, but that doesn't look pink to me. Maybe it is. I'll get out of this bag and we'll look at it against my, um, my ladybug dish so we can really get a good idea of what color these are. Maybe they're just really light pink or maybe they are, um, just crystal. That could be it too. We've got some other cool fun beads. Okay, we'll get to those. But here is our stringing material. We get some beading cable. And I like that this size It's 0.018, which means I can use it with my magical crimper because that is the size that you can use with that. So this is really great for that. And my magical crimper is my favorite way to crimp when I am using beading wire. And we get a caliper, y'all. I do not have one of these. This is going to be a lot of fun because sometimes I'll get a bead and I'll be like, is this six millimeter? Is it seven millimeter? Is it five? I don't know. And then I'm just like, I don't have time to figure that out. So let's just... take a look at one of these four millimeter beads and see if it really is four millimeter. You ready? I got it. I have to use a tool as soon as I get it. This is one of the things about me being who I am. I have to play with my tools. I have to do something with it. I can't just put it on a shelf and forget about it. All right. So we've got our four millimeter. Ah, and is that where I put it? Is right there. I don't know how to use this. Come here, mister. How, how do you know what the millimeter is? That's, that's not right either. It's uh, the wrong way. How do you get it in here, guys? There we go. I've got it right in there. And that is, where's the zero? Okay, so that's the inches and this is the millimeters. And that is One, two, three, four. So it's on the four side for those millimeters. Okay, I will figure out how to use this, but that's, it's useful. It's a useful tool. I appreciate this. I'm going to use that. I'm gonna put it over here on my tools though, for now. And I'm going to start putting some of these guys in here. So I do have the four millimeter crystal bite cones in light peridot. Stick those right in there. Then we've got, they say it's pink mix. The check fast around four millimeters. So can you guys see this? Some of these are kind of pinker than others. It's got little pink splotches on some of them. So it's very light, very light. like 
almost crystal, but just that very, very, very light pink. I think that's kind of cool, actually. And then we've got some Lucite flower mix. These are roses. And that is pretty cool because a lot of times you see the Lucite flowers and they are like a trumpet shape or something like that. And these Lucite flowers are shaped like roses, like this. And we've got several different colors. And the hole for these goes through the back of it, like that, through the sides. These will be really interesting to try and use. I'm going to figure out how to get those in a design. All right, let me pull out my, my butterflies. We've also got these perfect form drops. They are silver plated and they are 25 by seven millimeters. This is a pack of five. And we could beat around these. We could dangle things in them. We could do some wire wrapping around them. They give us a lot of options for things we can do with them. And here we have these Bible beads. I'm going to stick these right over here on the side. Now these, the color for these is opaque lavender. They are three by five. Let's just take a closer look at these beads outside of that. That's how they're shaped. And that's why I was saying I bet they would work really well next to some round duos. In fact, let me pull out some of these round duos. And these are white lila rust luster round duos. And I'm putting these right next to them. But let me get some wire. There you go. Just a, a wire, and I will go through my round duo. Actually, I'll put, go through the bibo, go through a round duo, and then go through the bibo. Maybe I need a second wire next to it. Uh, this is just scrap wire next to my desk. Let's try, let's try this one. Round that one out. Oop, not that one. There we go. See that like round curvy side on the inside of the bibo fits almost perfectly next to that round duo. I like that. I like that we've got two two hole beads that are gonna work so well together, y'all. That's gonna be so great. <laughs> All right, let's get our leaf beads in here. And again, we've got Perido AB. So if you look at them, they've got that AB finish and it looks like they are the, both sides are the same. You just have a difference in the way that the, um, the leaf is pointing. So you could probably, when you're designing, try and give it a little bit of maybe offset some of those so that they're going through and it looks like we've got one, two, three, six, seven of these. I'm going to stick them right here. No, I'm going to put them next to the other green guys right here. <laughs> yeah, I like that. All right. And then we've got these lemony flat rondelles. Light yellow. It is a very light lemony color. 
And it looks like these are squished flat. That's, that's just the shape that they are. I'm going to put them right here in the middle between those two. And then we've got our Czech glass twisted peanuts. It looks like the hole runs from along the long side of this and it is twisted on both sides are the same and there are three distinctly different colors in here we've got one that's kind of a bronze color one that's kind of a blue and one that is kind of more of a green i'm gonna stick those right here and then we've got some strands. These are the long bicones, Peridot Pale. They are five by seven millimeter. They are a nice light pale green. And it looks like they might have a little bit of an AB finish on them. That's the vibes I'm getting from the way that the light is hitting it anyway. I'm gonna put these guys right up here. Now let's go ahead and open up our twisty pastel rainbow guys. And which size of, I think these are seven millimeters, yes. These are the seven millimeter fasted rounds and it looks like we've got some pink, some blue, some this light blue it looks like, maybe. Let me get these colors on my, um, my dish so we can see what colors they actually are. Because we've got some sort of a gray, kind of a brownie gray color like that. And then we've got kind of a light sapphire like that then we've got our very very light pink and then we've got these clear guys and it seemed to me while I was looking at them on the strand that they were a really really light blue but looking at them on the dish next to these others without the strand involved it looks like they are just the clear crystal. All right, so we've got a whole mix of those colors. And that strand. And we've got, hold on, that would take three. All right. You know what I might do is I might move these guys down here so that I can lay down both of these sections and have a spot for my my Eidos to be able to lay flat. Uh, I love colorful boxes, especially when you've got like a nice theme like all of these soft pastel colors and they all just go together so well so I'm gonna lay this down and I'm gonna move these larger beads into this so that they can share that spot and I might put these larger beads in there we've got these squared nuggets and these have that colorful swirl of all of these colors, some pinks, some greens, some blues, and there's three of these guys. So I'm going to stick them right in there. And now, what do we have left? We have some buttons. These are rose swirl, opaque rose swirl, and they are table cut buttons. So let's take a look. They are rounded on the back, and then the front is table cut away to reveal 
kind of a flowery color. Let's stick those guys in there. And I'm going to put these butterflies in there because I already have an idea of something that I want to make with these. And it is going to be using these butterfly charms. So we've got a front and a back on this. These are Athena cast butterflies. They are 12 by 16 millimeter. And the Athena cast metals are a Potomac Beads exclusive, so you can only get that from Potomac Beads. They're made in uh, Greece, which is why they call it Athena cast. <laughs> But there we go. Yeah, I next month I'm going to be do or this month in the month of April, I'm going to be doing an earrings every day um, sort of thing. And so I am definitely going to use these in an earring because I love when you can take a button like this and have wire or beading wire go through each of the sides and then uh, have a little dangle and something else up on top of it. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna absolutely do that together. And that's already my idea. We're gonna, we're gonna have fun with that. But I'm waiting until April for that. You guys will probably see this in April. It is still um, the end of March for me because I got it a little bit early so that I could start planning out my designs. But this is, here we go all of this together, the Potomac Beads Treasure Box for April 2024. And again, I will put a link in the description for where you can subscribe to this if you'd like to do that. Um, I highly recommend um, the Treasure Box. It's a lot of fun to create with. And they also have the Kit Box, which I subscribe to and I really enjoy. I love a good kit and they make good kits. Um, so either one of those you can subscribe to at the link that I'll put in the description. Have a great day. Happy beating.